One of my deep concerns is climate change and the effect this is going to have on wildlife, particularly wildlife in national parks and game sanctuaries and protected areas generally. I don't think conservationists have given enough attention to the reality of climate change and the fact that over the next 30 years we're probably going to see many extinctions because many of the endangered species are now confined to small areas, they have no opportunity for getting out, there's no corridors between uh, the national parks and areas where they might be able to survive and something really has to be done about this. One of the things I think we must appreciate is that very few national parks themselves can sustain wildlife. Much of the uh, fauna has been dependent on the ability to move out during dry seasons or wet seasons and they've gone on to what is basically private land or other land not under the protection of a national park authority. Unless we can sustain this uh, movement, unless we can give local communities living around the parks some benefits from the wildlife in the parks, sooner or later these animals will not be able to move out and when this happens the threat of climate change will be even more intense and I think you're going to see extinction happening more rapidly than we currently anticipate. I think in many parts of the world, certainly it's true in, in Africa and particularly true in Eastern Africa, national parks were established 50 to 100 years ago at a time when nobody really thought about the fact that people would increase in their numbers, the land use patterns would change and you would end up with islands. We probably still have time today to open up corridors between national parks and other areas. I think we've got to recognize that putting all our hopes in a national park may be the biggest mistake we've ever made. These national parks have become essentially islands and in climate change circumstances the fauna in islands becomes extinct long before on larger units of land.